Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures here uh, with another pickups video. Um, now this package actually arrived at the same time as um, the video earlier this week, so um, this week's a very good retro computer pickup week. Um, already unwrapped it, uh, did lose a little bit of footage, I don't know what I've done with it, so this is the second unwrapping. Um, so I think first I, I pulled out this, which is a serial cable, so it has a um, small port on the end, and a larger serial dongle on the end. So yes, definitely a computing device. And here's the little beastie here. It's a um, unit brought out by Atari. Oh, focus problems there. So it's an Atari portfolio. It has an op the optional serial module in the side here. Press these two. To to release tabs and that comes out now, there's no cover normally they'd come with a cover there's no cover to go over there so just have a bit of a look at the back there show the model number okay camera's going crazy today model number four um, gives you you know 300 milliamp six volt adapter on the back which I have, plus it takes batteries. Um, listed as working. Um, and here's the inside of the unit. It's actually got like a chiclet keyboard with slopey bits. It actually feels quite nice. It has a nice feel to it. It has a, um, well, I think it's about five or six line um, LCD display. Now it does not have a backlight though point out so it's probably going to be a little bit difficult to demonstrate it now I'll just um, get set up here now these were brought out um, I mean it's basically a um, an IBM XT equivalent so fairly early in the IBM era um, off the top of my head I can't remember my dates so I shall endeavour to look those up and add them to the video later. Okay, we just... Oops, it doesn't have an on-off switch either, so... Here's the machine. And it can take batteries. Okay, so this is the, the system booting up. I'm sorry, we're not really going to be able to get it much clearer without getting reflection from the actual camera. So it comes up and it has various language options built in, English, French and German. Sorry about that little kid invasion. Um, so get the angle right again. Come on camera. So as you can see you've got the normal XT uh, no battery backup boot which is has a default date so I'll just leave that as is and it asks you for the time as well Then it has a special version of um, MS-DOS custom built for this one the DIP operating system 2.11 um, you know so it's quite old in the um, DOS line of things but it will run um, DOS programs and it made a very good little terminal machine and um, and also featured, I don't remember this exact model, in the movie Terminator 2. So I challenge people to go and watch that movie and find the place where it's used with, shall I say, the serial connector or actually no, they were using the PCMCI adapter with a special connector in there with it he put, put into the ATM machine. So there we go, a bit of history. So it also places, oh, I've moved it around now and I've lost, I've lost power. Um, and it's actually my plug on the other end, not the plug on this end. So you, you know, it's, an, it's a little curiosity of a machine, um, an early portable, but it was actually quite interesting and, you know, it was quite portable. Um, now I'll dig some batteries out and clean the contacts up on the inside and get it running with battery and uh, a great addition to the collection. A quick addition to this um, video, sorting through the packages and everything like this. I have another package here um, that 
you know, doesn't really just need a video by itself since it's printed material for the retro computers, but it's definitely related to retro computers, so it's best to go. It was turning out to a big retro computer special. So we have some books. Um, pretty much, I think, all for a computer I don't have yet, but I do intend to get at some stage. We have a pocket handbook for the VIC-20, a VIC-20 user manual, uh, more than 32 basic programs for the VIC-20, and a general book, Programming is Fun, a step-by-step -step approach to programming and basic for secondary students. Interesting little one. It looks actually looks quite well, um, quite well laid out. Sorry, we're going to get a bit of there. Yeah, so very good. Excellent additions to my the book part of my retro computer collection. And um, just another insert to this particular one because it's retro computer related. I got a um, little package from the UK. Um, these have been wrote. I've had this marked on my. Um, um, you know, eBay list for a while um, and it went down in price again so I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, it is for the Amiga and I mean it can be used in any PCMCI thing. So it's a PCMCI compact flash card thing so you do need a compact flash card. I've got one somewhere I've got to dig it out yet. Um, so I'll just take it out of the protective case. So there it is there. The camera's having focusing problems today. Alright, it comes with um, the software. Alright, now I have a hard disk in my 1200, so I will be able to install this on the hard drive and it'll recognise it from then on. Um, and um, Comes with a nice sheet of instructions. Lots of questions and answers on there. So this is an older transfer device, but it really didn't cost much money at all. Um, and I thought it'd be useful for just for the time being transferring stuff from the PC to the Amiga. Because um, uh, I mean, a lot of I mean, I do have lots of floppy disks for the Amiga, but a lot of them don't work anymore. Um, and uh, and it would also be good for backing up what's already on the hard drive to something and transferring it to the PC a lot easier. Uh, so I won't do a demo at that moment because I'll need to find my um, compact flash card um, and the PC interface and everything like that. So um, uh, if I wanted to, I'll do that. It'll be a long time before I put this video up. Alright, I'll catch you later.